Hey folks, cold front came through early this morning, pre-dawn, pretty much on schedule with a lot of wind, a little bit of rain, and much cooler temperatures. These are the currents. We managed to get back to the upper 60s and low 70s. We've had sunshine most of the valley since early this morning, so that really helped warm things up. But if you look at our dew points, look how they've dropped. Upper 30s and low 40s. Talk about comfortable in terms of the humidity level. It is the very bottom of the chart down here. Down about 40 is the average, so they are very, very dry. And it's going to stay that way, it looks like, pretty much all weekend long. Wind gusts still this last hour, over 30 miles an hour in many areas. And that wind advisory expired at 5. Uh, wind should begin to diminish a little bit as we go into the evening hours. The gale warning at the coast stays in effect until 1 o'clock in the morning. The winds will stay up there for a while yet. Low temperatures tonight should end up in the upper 40s almost every place. The exceptions, Brownsville at 50 and South Padre Island to 57 for a low tonight. And then tomorrow, plenty of sunshine again all day long, much less wind, northwest 10 to 15. Temperatures climbing back into the mid to upper 70s across most of the valley under bright sunshine pretty much all day long. The normal high for the end of October is about 85. We'll be below that tomorrow and Sunday, and then Monday back to 86 as we await the arrival of another front around Wednesday, Thursday of next week. Did you see that go through? That was it. We'll run this loop another time, and you'll see the front racing through early in the morning. There it goes right there, triggering showers. Not a whole lot of thunder and lightning, mostly just heavy downpours that lasted just a few minutes and got on out of here. And Future Track says now that the rain is gone, it is going to stay out of here. The weekend just looks about as sunny as it can be. That sky so deep blue because the atmosphere is about as dry as it can be, not just here at the ground, but all the way up. Super dry atmosphere, so no rain tomorrow and none expected Sunday either. I think we're just back to sunshine again for Sunday. And then we add a little moisture back into the mix by the time we get to Monday. Rest of South Texas recovered to 70 in Falfuria, 63 in San Antonio. Look to the north, Dallas is only 48, 58 in Austin this afternoon. So even though it's cool here, it's colder elsewhere. Uh, by the way, the system in the Gulf, tropical storm. More on that in a second. It's not coming this way. High pressure building in for us as that tropical storm lifts to the north. High builds into Texas right on top of us tomorrow and then eventually pushes back to the northeast. Our wind will come back out of the southeast early next week. And with that, moisture will come back in. But we are dry through the weekend and at least through Monday. Now back to this system. Became Depression 17 and then was upgraded to Tropical Storm Olga this afternoon with 40 mile per hour winds. It's east northeast of us, but it's going uh, almost straight north. We're off to the north northeast. You can see that by tomorrow morning, it's already on the coast of Louisiana, off to the west of New Orleans. Probably going right over Baton Rouge is a pretty good rainmaker, but it is moving fast. 24 hours from now to be over Memphis, and after that, it heads up through Indianapolis and Detroit and into Canada by Sunday afternoon. That thing is really moving, so a short lived tropical system in the Gulf of Mexico. Traveling tomorrow in Texas. Well, let's take a look. It starts chilly statewide. 40s up the center part of the state. 51 in Houston, 35 in Midland. Only 28 in Amarillo in the morning. And by afternoon, most places warm into the 60s. We'll be in the 70s, West Texas in the 70s, but a cool day statewide. Quick check of the coast. We want to show you this because, again, a gale warning remains in effect until 1 a.m. And as Serge mentioned, coastal flooding co closing Highway 4 out to Boca Chica because water over the road out at Boca Chica. So for tonight, 47, mainly clear and very chilly, probably the coolest since April the 1st. So it's been almost seven months. Tomorrow's sunny sky is not humid at all. Atmosphere very, very dry. Beautiful blue sky. Plenty of sunshine on Sunday. Again, on Monday by Tuesday, we bring clouds in. Big question mark on timing of the next front, but certainly by Thursday afternoon, it's through and with that cooler temperatures just in time for trick or treat. That's your updated first one five. Accurate with the forecast.